His Purchase Pride Introduction Kim Tae-hyung, one of the most powerful businessmen and the owner of the multiple casinos, hurts of the girls, but he was heartless, age 30. Vine, an orphan whose life was filled with twists, turns, and sorrows, age 26 years. Park Jimin, husband of Vine and the reason of her miseries, age 30. Please open the door and let me go. Your husband has sold you here. As soon as the words left from his mouth, her words stopped. Part 1 her fate In the middle of the luxurious bed, as a girl was sitting covering her head with a long red veil, she was wearing a heavy lehenga and a soft smile was adoring on her lips. As it was her first night with her husband, she was swine. Her heart and mind was dancing in joy, thinking about the upcoming beautiful life where she was going to get her own family, her own house, a partner who would stay beside her always and many more people. She had heard his name many times before marriage from her aunt while staying in the orphans and seen him but never got the chance to meet him but she did not mind though. Now she had lots of time throughout her whole life. Who thought that a prince would fall for an orphan girl like her? Yes, he was a prince after all. Like how she used to read about fairy tales in her childhood, her cheeks painted with crimson red as she blushed hardly. Suddenly, the sound of the door opening made her heart beat fast, and she understood from the footstep that he was here, her husband Park Jimin. He moved the heavy kurta with an irritating face, throwing it on the floor, and came near the bed. Why are you still wearing this shit? He asked her as she could not understand and look up at him with the veil to know what he was saying. He harshly removed the veil as a gasp left from her mouth and then pointed on her lehenga. For a moment, Van got nervous with his stunt as she started fidgeting with the end of her lehenga but then thought to reply. Uh, actually, I was told to wear this. But I don't like it a bit. Get up and change with this. Jimin showed the gift box in her hands as she nodded without stretching it more and went to the washroom to change. In the meantime, he laid lazily on the bed waiting for her. On the other hand, Van opened the gift box excitedly as it was his first gift from her husband but was shocked seeing the gift. It was a black lingerie which would be hardly covering her body. Being a simple girl, she never wore any type of revealing dresses and this was too much for her. Have you slept in the washroom itself. His deep voice came from outside as her thoughts broke instantly. She decided to speak and came out of the bathroom without wearing it. Jimin glanced at her and frowned seeing her in the same outfit like before. What is this? I, I never wore such things before. She stammered, not knowing that she was making him angry. You are married now. You have to do many things first time. Now go and wear it. His straight reply made her look up as she again went into the washroom. Vine thought at the same time and decided to wear it. After all, he gifted this to her and refusing it won't be looking good. Moreover, she was wearing it in front of her husband. She made her mind and came out of the washroom wearing the lunzohre. Jimin looked at her figure who was standing little bit away from him, lowering her eyelashes, covering a towel over her upper part. He looked up to down as his eyes darkened with desire while Vine was continuously pulling the dress trying to hide her visible thighs as much as she could. He stood up and come closer to her, then snatching the towel away from her, he smashed her lips over her, sucking them harshly as she gasped. She voiced out, feeling out of breath because of his harsh attempt and started punching on his chest as he left her suddenly, wine breath heavily and fastly to gulp more air, while he became frustrated with her unnatural behavior. What the fuck happened now? Jimin asked with an irritating face as she looked at him not knowing how to tell him. I, I want some time. And for what means I am still not ready for this. She makes excuses but Jimin does not listen to her. Two years later. Two years passed as Vine had fallen too weak and pale. Her charming smile and playfulness had lost somewhere. Her life turned into a nightmare from a beautiful fairy tale. Jimin used to come home late night in the drunken state and used to behave harshly with her. Did he ever love her? If not, then why did he marry her? She wondered every time but did not get any answer. The night was getting darker as the music filled through the air. Some people were engrossed in playing while some were busy in alcohol. Many girls and boys were serving drinks to the people while some were busy in making money. It was the biggest casino of the city. One more round. Jimin's heavy voice came as he gulped one more peg. Sir, you have already lost 10 crore and after this round we will lose everything. I will win. He rolled his number as the game started again and he lost. You have to pay 20 crore now, the man demanded. 
I don't have money. He told with his drunken voice and slapped chair itself. The man glared at him and looked at each other, then grabbing his arm, started dragging somewhere. Jimin opened his eyes with a jerk when he felt water splashing over his face. With his bloody vision, he tried to look at the owner who dared to splash water on his face. How dare you, Buster? He gritted his teeth, but again got the same treatment. He glared at the man who was sitting just in front of him, wearing a gray-colored three-piece suit. His gaze was fixed on Jimin, and he was holding a glass in between his fingers. Where I am, he spoke through his clenched teeth as the man again threw water on his face. Jannat me. In heaven, who are you, and how dare you throw water on me? Do you know who I am? A beggar. <laughs> the man replied, looking straight into his eyes. Why have you brought me here? Jimin asked as he started rolling a paper weight on the table. Pay the money. The man, none other than Kim Taehyung, demanded, "I don't have money." As soon as the words came from his mouth, Taehyung threw the paper weight on his forehead, making him hiss in pain. Either pay the money, or my men will take it by selling each and every part of your body. He threatened dangerously, making him gasp. Please leave me. I don't have money right now. Give me some time. I will pay the amount. Jimin requested, but it got ignored. Take him to his proper place. Taehyung ordered his men as they nodded. No, please give me some time. Believe me, I will pay the amount. <laughs> I don't even believe my family. To be continued.